So I find myself passionate about trying to maximize impact or goodness uh -huh. full stop. And it seems that the way to do that is through global health. That's the, the most mm -hmm. obvious way to um, effectively create good outcomes, saving lives, preventing suffering, and so forth. And this differs from the passions of other members of the class, many who are interested in helping the local community or in promoting education. And I don't know if I'm leading toward a question here, but the, mm -hmm. these are the troubles that we're, we're facing, I guess. Uh, many people have not not just it, it's not that there's just a set of people in the class who are passionate about global health and a set who are passionate about education even within the people the group of people who support global health they may be passionate about they may be supporting that category for different well, obviously reasons. you don't want to do you don't want to divide it up into too many right into, into too many grants but somehow being able to convince the others to come to a conclusion in terms of rankings Right. Uh, that that to me would be you know what what what's the priority? But it's hard. I mean, global health. Every, you know, the Gates Foundation is every human being, every person has the right to live a healthy, productive life. Is the the mission statement? And I, having traveled in Africa and India and different places, uh, seeing the work that it really is incredibly meaningful, and I can easily understand. But uh, or do you do, do international, national, and local? I mean, that's a different way of doing it. Sure. Well, one of the things that Stephen often brings up <clears throat> is it is easier to measure one's success with mosquito nets or pills mm -hmm. and distribution than it is to measure some of the more amorphous social change uh, systematic problems that people would like to address. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so justifying investing in social change versus, or in art, v versus investing in, in something that you could actually mm -hmm. count, how many m mosquito nets you gave out, how many kids actually got saved versus last year, is an easier process. Uh, how do you convince one or the other if that's what you're looking for? I, don't, you know, I, I think you have to look across categories. Certainly, you know, I, I just got a request yesterday from the UN for ten dollars per bed net, or uh, they're, they're overcharging you. Huh? They're overcharging you. <laughs> there you go. We've studied these guys are talented. They've done an incredible amount of so research. So how much did a bed net cost? Four to five dollars. Uh -huh. Yes. There we go. And what organization is the best at doing it? Against Malaria Foundation. Uh -huh. Do you agree with that, Leslie? The Against Malaria Foundation might be best at distributing bed nets. Whether they're best at fighting malaria, I don't know if I agree. Uh, who would you suggest? <laughs> um, I think the Against Malaria Foundation does a really good job, but they're mm -hmm. focusing on a very different part of the fight against malaria than the Against Malaria Foundation is. And malaria okay. no more is. Yes. I mean. <laughs> and the, and the, fa the fact is, even if you gave the whole, the, the whole grant, of the 100000 that you're giving away, <coughs> all to this, yeah, it, w how much effect? Well, you would save a quantifiable number of lives that otherwise yeah. wouldn't be saved, but even if I you're not stopping the problem. But I think you still have to look at other parts of human existence. It can't just just be that. I don't know, that's my own, <laughs> my own passion, is that uh, social change, and there are other things that affect people's lives as, w lives as well. Nancy, do you agree with this? I agree. I mean, um, my personal preference would be to have some sort of combination between something where you can very easily say, we definitely saved this many lives with this much money. Mm -hmm. That's not where I would put all of our funds, that's because right. I agree with you that mm -hmm. there's a lot more to human existence that's important. Um, but for something with a donation as small as ours, I'm perfectly comfortable with donating some part of it to something more quantifiable that we can say.